Uh, we're here with the X unit. We're going to go over the individual components and the names. Uh, we'll start with the flush tank on the bottom down here. Then we have our power head, our lower section, our fluid section. This is our filter assembly. Going back up here, we have our slave drive, our catalyst pump, air manifold, and we have our catalyst jug, catalyst manifold. This is our relief valve for the manifold. You have your fluid regulator, the inject gun. And then we have our spray gun. We're going to make sure our gun is turned off. We're going to open our research for our catalyst manifold. We're going to turn our main air on. We're going to open the recirculation valve right here. And then at this point, we want to run our pump very slow and run material, prime it up through the pump and then have it come out the recirculation valve here at a really low pressure, 20, 30 pounds. And when we do that, we're gonna close this back off. Then we're gonna prime this up to 40 pounds. We don't wanna exceed 60. So we'll push the button and then we'll prime this up really slow to 40. No, not exceeding 60. We're going to remove the quick pin from the cast. We're going to leave our valve open. We're going to prime this manually. And we want to pump it slow because if we pump it too fast, it cavitates. So we're slow like this right here. This is as fast as you want to go. And we're going to watch material come down this line into the pump. It's going to pressurize up here. It's going to dump out the valve and go back into the jug. And that's what our our hose would be here to here. And you can see it coming through. When you see it come through, that's when we can close the valve. And then hand prime this until we, it gets tight. Then we can put our pin back. And it's a quick pin, so it's easy to pull in and out. Just have to make sure and line the holes up there. Now we want to check our fluid pressure regulator to make sure it's at operating pressure. And, and we can adjust that when we adjust our fan pattern. And it should be ready to run 